Without a doubt, Planksty were one of the most influential bands in the history of Irish traditional music, not just in Ireland, but indeed in Britain and throughout the whole of Europe. Well, now, it's been some time, in fact, more than 20 years since Planksty actually played in this particular neck of the woods. Here's the good news, though. They're back. They're playing on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday in the Waterfront Hall. It's going to be quite an event. Here's a wee taster of what you can expect. I had a first cousin called Arthur McBride. He and I took a stroll down by the seaside, a seeking good fortune and what might betide. Twas just as the day was a dawning. Then after resting, we both took a tramp. We met Sergeant Harper and Corporal Cram. Besides the wee drummer who beat up for camp, was his rowdy dow dow in the morning. Andy, the story of Planksty, it's a long and winding road and it's all <laughs> happening again. Tell us why you're back this time. We got better. I, I, one could never have guessed that that would be the case, but as soon as we started playing, we realised we were, we were even better than we had been before. That sounds rather immodest, and I didn't mean it to sound <laughs> like that. But, uh, why now then? Why was the time right for this reunion? Well, we talked about it for a number of years, and what led us into doing it this time was a, a documentary that a fella called Leagues O'Toole did for RTE, a program called No Disco. And it was aimed at uh, younger people, or young people, and it got a very good reaction. And we realized then that it w w we wouldn't just be playing to old kind of people our, old, our own age uh, who'd been there in the, the first time around. We'd be playing for uh, young people and people of every age, and that's what happened. And it was, it's, uh, it's great. If that hadn't happened, I think we would probably have called it a day after the first gigs last year. Here's a hint to dreams of married life, to soap, to suds and blue. Hearts through love and pit and starch and wash and soda too. I'll go into some foreign shore, no longer can I stay. Oh, with some china hot and hot, they'll throw me life away. For me love, she is no foolish girl, her age it is to score. Me love, she is no spinster, she has been married twice before. I cannot say it was her wealth that stole me heart away. She's a bailer in the laundry for one and nine a day. Were you frightened of just retreading old ground and just going over the old tracks again? Did you want to do something fresh? Yeah, for a number of years, a couple of us thought, well, we don't want to go back and do the old stuff. But it had to be done, you know. I mean, uh, we'll see. You know, we're one of these bands where uh, we're like a bunch of alcoholics, you know. It's one step at a time. Now, a lot of bands have got fantastic musicians in them. Perhaps the egos start to take over, Andy, but did you guys get we on? We always got on. We had a laugh. The first 18 months of the tour were just... Uh, just a permanent laugh, you know. I've never laughed so much in my whole life. Like Donald and Christy sparking off each other was so funny. <laughs> and we just, we always got on and we still get on. You know, when I walk into the, the, uh, the hotel in Belfast the night before the first gig in the waterfront, I'd be delighted to see them and I know they'd be delighted to see me. And it's, that's very important. As I roved out on a bright May morning to view the meadows and flowers gay Whom should I spy but my own true lover As she sat under yon willow tree now, some people have called you guys the Beatles of Celtic rock, which is quite a big thing to say, isn't it? As well. Were you ever aware of just how different and how significant the music of Planksty was? No, and I don't think anybody else in the band has managed to ever work that one out. We've had 30 years to think about it, so we've come up with this uh, thing, which may or may not be true, that people were, were just waiting uh, for this kind of music they didn't know that they were waiting for it, but as soon as they found it, they knew that they'd been waiting for it. Now that's, uh, that's as close as we can get to 
whatever. At closing time, the sailor man, he's gone to the tavern down by the strand. And as he passed by, well, he pulled off the string, and she's come down and she's let him in. Oh, won't you come down? Oh, won't you come down? Oh, won't you come down to yon town? Oh, won't you come down and oh, won't you come down? Oh, won't you come down to yon town? What can people expect when the band make the Belfast rum this week? Well, they'll get, uh, they'll get a fair smattering of raggle-taggle gypsies and jolly beggars, uh, Arthur McBrides. I don't know. I mean, I, I've never seen the band, so I don't know. But uh, it'll be as good as, it, as, as we are, uh, if that's um, possible to say. I mean, we're all looking forward to it tremendously. Uh, we haven't had enough yet. And um, I can't imagine why it won't be a rip-roaring success. Well, good. Like a good wine. Planks, you just keep maturing with age. It's great to speak to him first stop. Planks, Dave, great to see you back. Thanks a lot, Ron. get together for a good cause and a new CD has just been released called the Wildlife Album with all proceeds going to the World Wildlife Fund and the Ulster Wildlife Trust. Now it features all kinds of local artists like Sir Colin Reid, Janet Holmes, even Cara Dillon and indeed our next guest Planksty Man Andy Irvine. The music on the album ranges from rock to folk to blues to jazz and even baroque in there too and you can't beat a bit of baroque and roll that's what I say. There are 18 tracks in all on the album all specifically recorded or indeed unissued up to this point so without further ado Here's Andy Irvine and Morton Bay. I am a native of the land of Erin that was early banished from my native shore. On the ship Columbus went circular sailing And I left behind me the girl I adore On the bounding pillows that were loudly raging Bold sea mariners our course did steer we were bound for Sydney, our destination, and every day cold Ireland's war. Morton Bay, you find no equal, Norfolk Island. Curse to Gabby and all time places in New South Wales. Oh, Morton Bay, find no equal, North the Island. Stuff. Andy Irvine and Morton Bay. Now, we all know Ralph has been busy this week. He's been off getting groomed, and I know he'd recommend an Indian head massage.